Hey there, it's Frank from the Music Gallery showing off another really cool guitar. This is a guitar we have had in our front showcase when you walk in the door. Uh, you may have seen it if you've been to the shop over the last few years. I bring it out every now and then and just let people kind of look at it. And I love telling the story, so that's what I'm going to do here for those of you who have haven't seen this guitar. It was done probably about 10 years ago, back when Ren Ferguson, one of Gibson's senior master builders, head of, of uh, their custom shop, <clears throat> would do about a half a dozen of these. He called them master museum pieces. And uh, they're expensive, but totally one of a kind. And if you take a look at this, uh, let me just show you the, the exotic wood that, that Ren picked out for us. It's, this is uh, Madagascar rosewood. He uh, <clears throat> did a relief carving on the neck. So this is a relief carved neck and beautiful uh, abalone inlay on the top, sides, back. I mean, pretty much everywhere he uh, took mother of pearl and carved the uh, tuning key buttons. And the story of this, uh, each, each one of these guitars get a theme. And, and this particular one is called the History of Gibson. So what Ren did was inlaid all of these various instruments that over the years Gibson became famous for. Certainly, uh, you know, mandolins, banjo, Flying V, SG, Les Paul, harp guitar. What was really interesting to me when they when they delivered the guitar, I noticed that there were toys down here and I'm like, Ren, what's, uh, I get all the, I get all the musical instruments and the, you know, the old uh, turn of the century logo. I said, but what's with the toys? And what I didn't know and what I learned during the uh, the war, World War II, things slowed down for Gibson and they didn't want to lay off their employees. So they had many of them start building toys. And so during the war, so that the guys didn't have to lose their job, Gibson put them to work making toys. And that's what you have here. So a little something uh, I learned about Gibson and uh, made me appreciate them as a company a little bit more. So anybody's welcome to come in and give this thing a try. It's got Adirondack top, beautiful wood, sounds great. Maybe somebody would come in and just fall in love and have to take it home. That would be a beautiful thing. Anyway, if you have any questions about it, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call. Stop in and uh, give it a look. Look forward to uh, talking to you down the road some. Thanks for your time.